Welcome to another edition of Headlines Nigeria, reaching you from Internet Television International Studios. I am Grace Ukot with summaries of news, politics, business and sports stories from our national dailies. We'll take a quick look at the issues for the day. Vanguard newspaper, Jega Naji and Ao changed Nigeria. Jonathan, President Goodluck Jonathan yesterday stated that he, Professor Atahiru Jega, Enek Chairman, and Professor Bat Naji, Special Advisor on Power, had a rare opportunity of changing the face of public governance in the country before the expiration of the present government on May 29, 2011. The Punch newspaper, Obasanjo denies secret meeting with Bankoli. Former President Olusegun Obasanjo did not have a closed-door meeting nor any discussion with Speaker of the House of Representatives, Mr. Dimeji Bankole, in Lagos on Tuesday. The news agency of Nigeria reported that Obasanjo, in a statement signed by his special assistant, Mr. Adeoba Ojekunle, stated that, contrary to media reports, the meeting at the presidential wing of Muritala Mohammed Airport was an inadvertent development and not a secret or closed-door meeting. Daily Independent, reps pass amended electoral act. Federal lawmakers in the lower house on Wednesday concluded the amendment of the 2006 electoral act by making sweeping changes, among them empowering the Independent National Electoral Commission to deregister political parties. The House of Representatives created two new sections, 80 and 83, giving powers to the INEC to register political parties under new conditions and to re deregister those that fail to win at least one seat in the federal or state legislature. Vanguard newspaper, Senate suspends debate on $30 million Sao Tome soft loan. The Senate yesterday suspended debate on President Goodluck Jonathan for a downward review of the terms and conditions of the federal government's $30 million soft loan to Sao Tome and Principe. The request was stood down following observations by senators at a plenary session that it was not accompanied by details of the loan. Senate assures on state creation. The Deputy President of the Senate, Senator Ike Ekweremadu, yesterday assured agitators of new states that the Senate will set up a committee to look into all the demands for state creation before it. And the Guardian newspaper, Nigeria assumes presidency of UN Security Council. For the next one month, we shall be carrying the burden of the world, says Nigeria's ambassador and permanent representative to the United Nations, Professor Joy Ogu, as she briefed report reporters at her office in New York on the country's assumption of the presidency of the World Bodies Security Council today. And in Nigerian Tribune, Federal Government Committee on Tariffs set to present report this week. The Presidential Committee on the Review of Tariff and Fiscal Incentives, specifically Subcommittee on Agriculture on Monday night, announced that it had concluded its report and set to present it to the Federal Ministry of Finance at the end of this month. The Punch newspaper, Public Hearing. Ogun Speaker laments absence of stakeholders. The Speaker of the Ogun State House of Assembly, Mr. Tunji Egbetoku, on Wednesday lamented the absence of stakeholders at the public hearing organized by the House on the 1999 Constitution Amendment Bill. And Punch Newspaper 2011, SSS cautions transport workers against Thurgry. The State Security Services on Wednesday warned members of the Lagos State Chapter of the Road Transport Employers Association of Nigeria against Thurgry against the during the 2011 elections. And moving over to politics, the Punch newspaper. Edo PDP crisis worsens as factions trade blames. The crisis in the Edo state branch of the People's Democratic Party worsened on Wednesday, with two factions of the branch accusing each other of anti-party activities. The acting chairman of one of the factions, Chief Sonia Oyigwe, at a news conference in Benin, accused Chief Tony Aneni's faction of anti-party activities. And in a reaction, director of publicity of the group loyal to Aneni said Oyigwe had been expelled from the party in his ward and local government area. Abia adopts bill as Edo opposes 14 sections. The Abia State House of Assembly has adopted the First Amendment of the 1999 Constitution, presented to it by the National Assembly. The resolution to adopt the harmonized version of the Constitution by the House followed a meeting presided over by the Speaker, Agu Agu. 
Vanguard newspaper, Eboyin to adopt option A4 in local government polls. Ahead of the scheduled July 10 local government council polls, Eboyin state government plans to adopt option A4, a system of practically queuing behind candidates of choice during voting. In this regard, the state House of Assembly has also concluded plans for commencement of public hearing on the amendment of state electoral act to accommodate option A4 as a system of voting other than the popular open six balloting. Oji's resignation, opportunity for Nkwangwa, PPA chieftain. The National Treasurer of the Progressives People Alliance, PPA, Dr. Sam Nkiri, said yesterday that the recent resignation of Governor Theodore Oji of Abia State from the party was a golden opportunity for the people of Nkwangwa to reproduce the next governor of the state. And now business news, the Punch newspaper. Depositors lose 107 billion naira to Wonder Banks. Some customers of unregistered savings institutions, otherwise known as Wonder Banks, lost a whopping 106.9 billion naira, according to a report released by the Central Bank of Nigeria on Wednesday. Power. Reps query irregularities in NIPP status report. The House of Representatives Committee on Public Accounts has queried irregularities in the books of the Niger Delta Power Holding Company. The NDPHC is directly responsible for the National Integrated Power Project started in 2005 to increase power generation in the country through gas power turbines. Next newspaper. All refinery workers take a break. Multinational joint venture operators, oil service companies, vendors, and other operators in the nation's oil and gas industry found to breach the provisions of the Nigerian Content Act. This day newspaper, S&P, CBN requires guarantee to sell banks. Standard & Poor's, one of the world's most reputable rating agencies, has said the Central Bank of Nigeria may need to guarantee the acquisition of the rescued banks to be able to win the confidence of investors. S&P, which some days ago rated Nigerian banks as high investment risk, identified a number of hurdles in the way of the recapitalization of the rescued banks, the execution of the banking reforms, and the return of the financial institutions to profitability. And now, Sports News, next newspaper. Good luck, Sachs Football Federation. Nigeria's president, Good luck, Jonathan, took steps to clean up the country's football yesterday by dissolving the board of the Nigeria Football Federation and redrawing the national teams from international football competitions for two years. The decision came against the backdrop of the Super Eagles' poor performance at the ongoing FIFA World Cup in South Africa. The Eagles finished at the bottom of Group B with one point after three matches. Nigerians urge rebuilding of football. Several reactions have greeted the presidential directive to ban the national team from participation in any international tournament for the next two years. While some see the move as a welcome development, others have faulted the approach. Some football fans who spoke on the issue urged Nigerians not to bemoan the president's action, but to use the period to rediscover the nation's football prowess. FIFA moves to stop age cheating. FIFA say they are working to stop the problem of age cheating at international youth tournaments. FIFA Development Director Thierry Reganes said the international body had shown a real commitment to tackling the issue, including scanning players' wrists to help determine their true ages. And with this, we've come to the end of this edition. Don't forget to log on tomorrow for more on Headlines Nigeria. Thanks for logging on.